Hello, my fellow soldiers delivering liberty. This is Maluich here, and welcome back to Helldivers 2. Guys, in the previous episode, we took a look at all the well, ship modules that got introduced into the game and realized that we are getting more powerful with every unlock that we do. We took a look at the new war bonds and the weapons and did a little bit of a comparison between the weapons and the actual like ammo economy, the account economy that they have <laughs> holy crap i'm losing my words already only uh only at the start of video right and uh yeah we we noticed that we we definitely are getting more more powerful and that is also why i named the episode like uh well power creep is a joke this is a pve game there doesn't need to be any balancing because the tk the time to kill is just way too uh easy this is a pve game guys let us be powerful and if we get too powerful, introduce some enemies that kind of need to uh, have a little bit more power to take them down, right? I think that's uh, a good way to go then. Well, nobody loves to see nerfs, but I do feel like probably some of them will get nerfs. In today's episode, though, like I said in the last one, we still have a new mission that got introduced with the invasion of the automatons earlier this week. And that mission is the one we have right here. So I already did want to check out how it actually goes. And we are exactly going to go back on that mission. So let's see if we can find one that is close by. So it doesn't look like we have any on this planet anymore. So the only... Ah, and this is why we do not have them on this planet anymore. This is a defense type mission, guys. So these missions only appear on defense planets as you can see here vernus wells so if we would click the vernus wells you can see here the icon we are looking for it is a mission evacuate high value assets initiate an off-planet evacuation of high value assets and defend the site until the evacuation is complete now usually we check out in my little series of uh, running through every mission available at what level difficulty you can start doing this uh this mission guys now i did a little quick peek of course on this already and if we go down the lowest difficulty you can find this mission is on hard so as soon as you go to challenging you can look around all you want this mission will not pop up so you need to be playing on hard to be able to get this mission to unlock the effect to evacuate uh, the high value assets now i'm not gonna run this one on hard guys because it is just too fun running it on higher tier difficulty so i'm gonna run it at suicide and i'm gonna see if i can actually get some people to join me let's start the new operation and let's dive right in to see what we need to do so the stratagems i love to use guys are of course the uh the bombs the laser then our rocket launcher or uh well basically if we go check out no 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 that's not what i wanted to do go back let's go back uh so yeah we're taking the uh quasar cannon of course and we are taking the ems mortar sentry the a turret firing a static field generator that slows the advance of enemies so it is a defense mission in the uh the truest form so we need to slow those advances and yeah you can see a lot of people going with um eh, well eh, more people yeah there we go so yeah turrets are definitely something that you want to equip for this mission so yeah i've kind of changed planets because i wanted to play this mission in the daytime so we had a little bit more visual on the actual map and i'm instantly gonna tell you one of the most important things that you can do like usually you drop on a planet and the first thing that you do is deploy your stratagems, right? You want to have, like, everything equipped. That is not what you want to do on this mission, guys. That is not what you want to do on this mission. The first thing you want to do oh, is turn around, salvation. jump over, because we have actual doors out. on this game mode. And what you want to do is make sure that before the, they drop in and start... You want to make sure you close those doors. This is a defense mission. And you want to close those doors before they start breaching in. That way you can actually get on top of here. On top of the walls. And you can start defending, right? So now is the time to actually start 
calling in our shit. Let's do this one. Let's uh, get our mortar up as well. Let's place the mortar. Uh, let's place them over here in the middle. There we go. And as you can see, defend generator system until all rockets have launched. And here they are, the first ones. So you want to make sure that you are taking out as many ships as possible constantly and try to like get everything dead like these gates are here to stay and you can see they're trying to destroy them already so we kind of want to try to defend the gates as long as possible there we go we got a slow there nice and you want to be pushing you want to be pushing these walls guys you want to make sure that you're in front of the walls and are shooting everything that is at first walls down so we are instantly gonna fall back a little bit trying to see maybe we can last a little longer here and this is why the ms the ems mortar that i'm using right now is like really really useful right and here we go we got some more uh, incoming. Let's get that supply there. Where is this ship gonna land? Over there. Let's do like this. So if everybody is using like rocket launchers, this is definitely like really, really useful. Taking out all those ships. Because those ships kind of will block if they drop between where the actual gates are. They will drop where... Okay, still looking good. They will drop in the gate and actually obstruct everybody from getting in, right? So it might help you out a lot. Being able to. And I see, like, my turret is dead, but they're doing so much good work. Out of ammo. Out of ammo. Let's uh, get that supply here. So, doing pretty well. Now, as the quest or the mission actually says, defend the generator. So, in the back there... Uh, what I'm looking at right now is a generator and there is another one there. So there's two generators and they can be destroyed. So you do need to be careful because these dropships and I'm going to kind of do something I shouldn't be doing right now. Uh, first, let's grab some supplies. Let's head back a little bit. I'm going to quickly show you at what might happen and where you kind of need to be careful for. So you can see we got a gate over here that we can close. We got a gate over here where we can close. So it is actually like a defense mission in the best regard. And yeah, here we've got the two generators, guys. And then uh, let's uh, do it like this and like that. So here you can see the actual uh, well launches of the uh, rockets that you are going to need to be protecting. So what happens is later on in the game, like in like five minutes or something like that, it is possible that the automatons are going to drop here on this rock on top here or even on this platform. And what they're going to do is they are instantly going to run to the generators and start killing them. If both generators go down, the mission fails. So you do want to be careful. Can I still take this one out? Go, 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 go. Nice. So you do want to be careful that you take a look from time to time to see if no bots have spawned here or if bots are actually like trying to kill your generators right the generators will start making noise telling you like okay okay so we are one closer let's put that no that is the wrong code put this one here let's get on the walls let's uh help destroy these guys yo that was a big flinch drop chips come on, come on come on come on come on yeah there we go perfect oh wait, he went out he went out this one bam nice now if you lose your walls the drop ships are gonna be like closer and closer so it's gonna be tougher and tougher guys to actually be able to defend this like you need to be Ready up there and constantly working on like killing off especially those ships guys if you can like you see there the ship was on the floor and that kind of what is seriously something in front of the gate no it doesn't look like it we got a little silent moment where are they shooting at okay we're there 
Let's quickly go take a look. The so two rockets launched. So this mission is 20 minutes long. But the mission itself, there is no, like, you don't need to run around. There is no codes to give in. It's just defend. And basically, the mission lasts 50 minutes. So it's a 50 minute before all of the... Ooh, that is a big one. Can we take this one down? Nice. Good. Let's do it like this. There we go. That should... Yeah, as you can see, like... Whoa, what happened there? Like, it slowed them all down. Eh, it was not a good one. We only got three kills from that one. But yeah, having the EMS mortar guys to slow these enemies' advances... So they're basically slower walking through the gate, slower walking to us. Is definitely something that will help you out immensely in defending these walls. And you only need like one or two. Because, um, well, as you see, it's still shooting. But you kind of want to like flip them out. If mine goes down, somebody else, I'm not really sure. Cooldown. Yeah, it does look like the cooldown is like 100% uptime. That's actually pretty cool. Oh. Ship, ship, ship. Oh, would have been nice that we could actually have that drop over here. It seems we have a sensed uh, blizzard incoming. Uh, a little bit more work. You? No. No. A little bit late with the reinforcements there. We have our laser up. Let's put this one over here. Out of ammo. Let's pick up some ammo. And yeah, the community is really, really happy with this mission, guys. Like, it has such a good feed on. Like, people are really enjoying this mission the hell out of it. Because it is what it is. Like, no running around. No looking for puzzles to solve. And like, oh, damn it. We're getting pushed and swarmed. Like, this is it. And it is so much fun. It is so much freaking fun. Oh, let's uh, wait a little bit for that big dude. Is he gonna be walking through? Could be. Yo, what the hell? Yeah, we're getting killed by... Oh, up top there. Yeah, this is what I mean, guys. So they can actually spawn on top of the rocks. So what I'm gonna do is actually run around. To make sure that they are... Not spawning over here. Okay, so we do have a player over here. Okay, generators are still fine. But... Yeah, this is, this is kind of dangerous. Gotta take them dude out. Because he could be walking in the base. Nobody could notice. And then all of a sudden from the back, like, bam, we're all dead, right? Go air support. Let's take out that ship. No, too late. Any other ships? Yo, I'm getting pushed back. So far, still doing good. Four out of eight. Blow these guys up. Reef forces are up. Okay, that's good. As a resupply. 20 seconds. Now let's grab these. Drop ship. Let's take it out. Go, that's a good one. It's uh, seven seconds. Let's get that mortar back up. Let's get those resupplies back up. Like uptime on everything, guys. Oh, take this one at first. Let's see if he can blast. Oh, they got through. They got through. That's not good. And we got yeah up top on the hill again. Let's do it like this. Ooh, go, 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 go. How is the back here looking? Back is still looking good. No, don't, don't close it yet. Don't close it yet. We're still good. We're still good. Do it like this. The, no, no uptime. Yeah, here they are. They're falling down the floor, the hill, the rock. You. Oh, that heavy is still up. 
Like, you can see that they're kind of, like, not running in. So you kind of want to keep this gate open. Because if you close the gate, they're going to start shooting at the gate, right? And right now, they're not really pushing in yet. So you kind of want to keep the health of the gate up by just not closing it yet. As long as you can defend it without closing the gate, I would suggest not closing the gate at all. Now, the second they get, like, way too close, that is when you actually... Let's do this one. There we go. Just looking up top here. Okay, still looking good. Okay, this is still looking good as well. Nice. That's uh, mortar still up. We got an eagle. Let's use that one. Go up front a little. See where they are. Let's uh, go behind this turret before it actually kills me. Six kills. Not the best, but not the worst either. I was looking over there. Still good. Nope, can't hit that one. I can't hit that one, though. Nice, that one's down. I'm right, still doing good. That's the mortar, 16 seconds. Okay, that's all good. Okay, Jennies are still up. Six out of eight. Nice. Eight minutes left. So around three minutes left in the mission, guys. I do have to say that this has been one of the easier ones that I've done. Uh, we basically... A lot of the times, people don't close those first two doors. And there's no going back once they actually, like, overrun it. Like, you cannot get those doors closed again. Because simply, it's, it's impossible to get there. That is not a good one. Can we... And you see, they dropping him on the actual rock, right? So that dude can actually take us out. Is he? Yeah, he's still alive. Let's get the EMS back up. Try to take that one out. Nice, there we go. Perfect. And we're actually doing really, really well for not having to close the door. We got a bunch of slows down there, so really, really nice. And 7 out of 8, almost there. Out of ammo. Out of ammo. We got a resupply. Somebody dropped a resupply somewhere. Where? I can't wait till I have the grenade launcher. Oh, right behind me. Nice. Let the pistol like grenade launcher. It's gonna be so good. Somebody leaving? A successful mission. Oh, probably gotta disconnect. You don't want to leave these missions. Now, you do not want to do this mission for XP, guys. Like, the XP that you get from these are honestly not worth it. Let's do it like this as well. There we go. That's seven kills there. And yeah, they're all slowed. Like, they're kind of frozen, and that's kind of a little bit bugged, I think. Like, they should not be frozen in midair. They should just be slowed. Yeah, seven kills there. Doing pretty good. Anything big? No. Now let's kill you. And there we go. Mission completed. So, I do have to say, like, this was way smoother than some of the missions I've done uh, so far. Holy crap. This is way smoother. So, what you want to do now is, well, you just extract. The plane is already on its way. You do not need to call it in. You do not need to give any code. Here's the ship already. Like, mission is done. Here's the ship. You guys can get out of here. So, yeah, really, really nice. Anyway, I'm going to wrap up this episode here, guys. If you want to see more of my Helldivers 2 content or any other game that I might be playing on my channel, just hit that subscribe button. It would always help out a lot. I do hope you enjoyed this episode. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.